Hey YouTube, it's Brandon Red here, and hopefully you can tell I got a new amazing camera finally. I actually got it for my birthday yesterday. It is the Canon Rebel T6i, which I'll do a whole other video about. I just wanted to get that out there because obviously the video quality is far superior to the last few videos I've been posting. I also apologize, once again, my hair isn't done, so I will be wearing a hat probably for the majority of this video, but you also won't be able to see me for the majority of it as well. Today's video, I wanted to break down one of the new projects I've been doing as I have been 3D printing for about a year now, and I wanted to show off one of the cool projects I have been working on. So I really hope you guys enjoy this video. I'm actually filming uh, two videos at the same time here, so I'm going to be in the same outfit for two videos. So yeah, let's have fun, guys. So the main reason I really wanted a wand um, of Malfoy's that lit up was actually because years ago, and this is one of the older models, um, Noble Collection released the illuminating wands. Now, I believe the battery on this is ridiculously dead, but um, yeah, so it kind of has issues right now. But you wave it on and off and then press the button and the wand would get brighter. Now, as I said, this is one of the older models. Um, I got this right when they were originally released, back when I was honestly a kid at the time. Um, and the paint jobs are a lot more, um, they're a lot more unique, I think, than the new ones. The new ones really have really bare, kind of basic paint jobs. This one has a lot of um, highlighting. Not really the base of the video, and they also have these really cool um, twisty knobs. Now you have to, they come with like a key, and it's kind of a pain in the ass, so yeah. Now, I went through a lot of 3D printing websites, and I actually found one Malfoy wand, and there weren't a lot of projects of people doing illuminating wands besides this file I found here. Um, I actually printed this in a wood filament. Uh, it's really, really pretty. Let me see if I can get a... Um, as I said, this is my new camera. I'm testing out a lot of stuff. Manual focus on there. 3D printed in a wood filament, and I stained it, which um, it doesn't take stain that well. But the thing with this wand is you stand it up straight, and the LED lights. It has like a, a movement... LED. So I thought these were two really cool things, but um, obviously my favorite wand, if you watch my other videos um, of like the mystery wands, my favorite wand is Malfoy's. So I really wanted one, and I went through a lot of websites like eBay and trying to find um, like even knockoff replicas, because Noble Collection only makes three wands. They make um, Harry's, Hermione's, and Elder Wand, or uh, well, I guess they name it Dumbledore's wand on the site. And they originally had... Um, they had Voldemort's wand, but that's been uh, henceforth discontinued. I'm pretty sure I used that word completely wrong. So I went on a lot of um, like websites to see if they had like knockoffs, because I know eBay has a lot of uh, knockoff Harry Potter light-up wands that Nova Collection doesn't have. Um, they actually, I haven't found a single person who has made one of these. So as of right now, I believe I'm the first person to make a Malfoy light-up wand. Now, as I said, this has been com uh, completely 3D printed. I didn't print this in a wood filament. I actually printed this in a uh, premium PLA, which I'm not really sure what the difference between a normal PLA plastic and a quote-unquote premium PLA plastic is. It might just be a marketing scheme, but I actually got it for cheaper than PLA at a store um, here in Illinois called uh, Micro Center. So I decided to print it in that because... Um, the wood filament is obviously very stingy. It's hard, kind of hard to print with, and it always has a few cracks in the model. Um, I think due to airflow issues, it's a lot like ABS, in my opinion. At least the brand I got from Amazon. So the wand was completely printed in a PLA plastic, and then um, it's actually it was originally two pieces, so you can kind of see the split here. And then what I ended up doing was I planned on putting the button switch, um, sliding it through the handle here. And then eventually, I hoped it would like pop through, but I could not get it to do it. So using a PVC um, pipe cutter, I just um, cut directly here um, where the hole was, and then popped it in and then glued the two pieces back together after everything was wired up. And that seemed to work really well, except there is a slight bend, as you can see, right in this section. And this section as well, I think it kind of has a almost slight Bellatrix the Strange curve to it, which I think is actually unique in its own way. Uh, I think it's all right, but yeah, it's really prominent. You can see right there. But obviously when held, you can't really tell. So this, I wanted to show you guys, this was the Noble Collection light up wand. And this is at its, you have to hold down the button to get it to its full brightness. That's the full brightness of that wand. And that is, I believe it is a, um, just a normal, like, uh, I think three millimeter. I think that's the average, um, LED. And then it's a, yeah, cause this one kind of, this one's a little bit broke. I think there's a three millimeter LED in there. And then they use like a, um, a diffuser. So there's that wand. This one I decided to use, um, I didn't even know these existed until the uh, literally I started working on this build, was a 10 millimeter LED, 
which when lit up from the sides, well obviously you can still it's a lot brighter. From the sides it doesn't look that bright because it's not diffused, but forward facing, like this thing is this thing is very, very bright. It's really, really um light in here. Or there's a lot of light. Obviously, yeah, you can see the difference there. I'll do a um in the dark kind of test to show you guys that in a minute. So let me get some up close looks at this wand. So as I said, it was printed in a premium PLA, and then I actually painted this whole wand with acrylics. Now I have not painted with acrylics in years, but it's all I had and I didn't want to go out and get any spray paint, so I used just a brown coat that I mixed up, um, it was multiple colors to get the right uh, color brown. And then um, just a normal base black, and I tried to keep it kind of light here. Because I have the Noble Collection Malfoy wand, I just left it upstairs. I wish I had it for this video, I might go grab it in a sec. Um, and tried to match that as close as possible, and it's pretty close. Um, this is more, uh, Malfoy's wand honestly almost matches this color a lot more. But it has a lot of wood grain that darkens it up, so I tried to get that as best as possible. Let's see if I can focus on that a little bit. You can see there's a little bit on there. And here's it lit up for you guys. See, it's quite bright. And um, when sanding it, I actually didn't put um, masking tape on it once. So I did get a little bit of, um, it did get a little sanded in some spots. Which I wish I would have sanded or would have taped off so I didn't have that issue. You can see it's like right there. It um, doesn't seem to create any issues though when lighting the LED. So, um, I actually modeled this wand completely myself. I modeled it in Blender, the main wand, um, up to this portion, because I didn't know how I wanted to do the batteries. Um, the wand, the other wand I showed you does have like, a cap that comes at the bottom. I'm like, oh, I could probably do that with Malfoy's. So I modeled the whole wand in Blender. But the issue I have with Blender, and I haven't really been able to figure out because there's not a lot of videos on it, was that um, I, it's hard to scale things up in Blender. I always put it in like Imperial measurements and everything. and. Bear with me as I'm a complete um, newbie to it, but I've actually gotten, in my opinion, pretty good with it. Um, uh, so, I would always uh, think I'd be scaling it up to like 14 inches. I've been using calipers on the Noble Collection trying to get accurate measurements. And every single time I did it, um, I'd put it into Blender, or not Blender, I'd put it into Cura, and it'd be like this big. So I'd have to scale it up to 14 inches again. So, to create this bottom base cap that comes out to take the batteries in and out, which these are just um, like four button cell, really small batteries. And uh, no resistor, by the way. This, I'm not really sure what the output is um, or the max uh, input this can take, but honestly, it's hasn't had an issue yet, though that's really dangerous because I could totally blow this LED and ruin this whole thing, but um, so far, so good, honestly. So I decided to uh, model this bottom piece in Fusion 360 because you can get really accurate measurements and if I want to take the batteries out I just take a pair of needle nose pliers and pull out I don't know if you can tell but there's um I basically just taped all the batteries together with some electrical tape and then uh, soldered two of the ends of the batteries so it stays together and it has a lot of waves it's a very um the weight is super super similar this one's a little heavier because this takes two AAA and this obviously takes um four of those button cells and it's the really small button cells I'm not sure what the exact uh, model number on those are. Now, um, this one is about, I want to say like maybe a quarter times the thickness of the uh, of the Noble Collection uh, Malfoy wand. Now, compared to the illuminating ones, this would probably be a really decent size if um, Noble Collection did it. Like, this seems like the size they'd have to go to as well, though it would probably have to be a little bit thicker at the base to accommodate two double A's. But overall, I'm really happy with the build, and um, let's do some in-the-dark kind of comparisons to show you how bright this thing is, guys. So obviously, as you guys can see, this isn't really a well-lit room, and uh, here is the wand, and we'll light it up. I don't know if the video can um, pick that up, but it is really, really, really bright. <laughs> it can go, like, ridiculously far in the... Let's actually turn this light out here, and I'll turn it on. So yeah, now you can see this thing is very, very, very bright. It actually lights up most of the room. The camera really doesn't pick it up too well, though. But um, yeah, 
as opposed to the Noble Collection wand, this is a, a lot brighter. So yeah, um, I'm really happy with how this build came out. Um, I actually never made something like this before. I think the closest thing I ever made was as a kid. Um, I know a lot of people still kind of make them. They're really popular when um, you did the, the rolled paper with an LED in the top and you had like the little wire that you click and it light up the wand with hot glue. That's all right, you know, but this was something that was, um, I was really proud of because no one's ever done this before and I think it looks pretty stellar quality. It looks just like Malfoy's wand. Um, the light is ridiculously bright as you guys just saw in that video. Um, but yeah, be sure to check out my next video, which will be uploaded pretty much five minutes in between this one, for the Dumbledore Crimes of Grindelwald wand. And you guys can actually win this wand, and all the details for that is in the end of this video. I may do a giveaway for this wand down the line, but um, as for now, I'm keeping this as my flashlight around the house. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Please um, subscribe and comment and request new videos. Um, I'm trying to upload once a week now that I have this new camera, and... God, you can see my pores in this camera. Yeah, I'll also be doing a review of this camera as well. This is the Canon Rebel T6i, if you guys were interested. So, thank you guys so much, and have a great day.